When Phil Tippett created Mad God, a stop-motion film project that took over 30 years to perfect, a lot of the effort went towards communicating pain. More specifically, physical pain. A demonstration to articulate how pain is not something that can be conveyed through language, but through the sounds of a primitive cry. Something that film allows us to do is to convey an emotion that is inexpressible through words. It allows for other mediums of representation that might capture an emotional essence. But to do so, you might have to take an element of experience to an extreme level to capture its message. In this case, you capture an entire world of suffering on 16mm film. God isn't the first film to express emotion past the conventional norms of literature and cinema, but it does allow for a distinct separation between verbal language and cinematic language. Films like Hard to Be a God, based on a story of trying to save a society that is burdening itself, attempt to demonstrate what misery might look like from another person's perspective, thrown into a world of suffering that you yourself do not know, and when showing pain to someone, how do they come to understand it? What does pain feel like without telling someone that it hurts? This is an idea spawned from the essays of Elaine Scarry, in which she states, physical pain does not simply resist language, but actively destroys it. One of the many themes that we'll find when investigating the communication of pain through cinema is that pain cannot be explained through words, and so it is shown physically. When you are in pain, all you know is pain. It becomes an end with no means. It is a purely internal and solitary experience. What Mad God shows, however, is a shared pain, an interpersonal experience in which everyone is allowed to suffer, as Sodom and Gomorrah brought center stage for everyone to experience. This is an idea that pushes the narrative of what pain looks like on film in order to illustrate a new outlet to express what visible pain might appear as. Something that Mad God reminds me of is an idea by Philip Guston in which you find freedom in painting badly. That through bad painting, you're able to mark its limits and surpass them. Bad painting is what happens when history ruptures impossibly, when traditional narratives splinter into fragments and eloquence gives way to cartooning. That shoe is bad painting not because it is poorly described, but because it marks the limits of painting, the most that can be said in a world without transcendence. Creative expression, although not forged in a vacuum, comes from the refusal to accept convention and seemingly inherit structure. As pain actively destroys language, we must find other avenues in which it can still be communicated. In showing what pain looks like, you are attempting to emulate its essence rather than recreate it. And what I mean by that is similar to when we have a great idea, or rather an image of a great idea. It can never be executed exactly as is imagined. What we do, however, is emulate this image to the best of our abilities, through literature, film, art, creating what others may interpret as great since to them, it's the first time you have shared this thought. But this great demonstration of what you have in your mind is only just that, a representation, an uncanny double of what you imagine. It's for this reason, the lens of cinema shows us what pain looks like, what it really feels like. We're not distracted by any nuances, dialogue. We can see the pain in their eyes, their body language, their actions. We can actually see the pain they're feeling. When I think of a similar emotional pain, I'm reminded of that scene from Interstellar where Matthew McConaughey's character knows he's not coming home. I think of that moment from Braveheart where Willem Wallace waits in a forest for his wife to escape with him, only to find her dead body tied to a stake. You can see the pain. You can hear it. And sometimes, you can start to feel it. It's such a unique way to express pain. I kind of feel like it's the only way to express pain. Yeah. 
And when a film gets it right, when a film captures what mental and physical suffering looks like, you get a pretty good depiction of pain. In Ari Aster's Midsummer, the film creates an atmosphere in which psychological and physical pain can coexist. Danny's emotional journey and trauma are often seen to be part of a dichotomy between her internal, often invisible suffering of psychological pain and her very apparent visceral experience of physical pain. The result of pain comes from the manifestation of suffering, a psychological and physical endeavor. It almost feels like a private matter, a vulnerable moment, and when we see it on film, we get to be part of that existence. In Mad God, we feel every discomfort, every sound of wailing finds its way into our ears, and even though this experience is hard to withstand, we can't help but accept the cinematic exposition of pain. Cinema can portray pain through a combination of visual, auditory, and sometimes even kinetic elements. A film like Whiplash demonstrates the use of music to corrupt the soul and shows the pain it takes to accept the corruption. An equally good example would be Black Swan, depicting what you might have to sacrifice for what you most desire. Film allows for the depiction of pain in ways that are both immediate and grotesque. It engages the audience more directly with the emotional core of the experience. We find ourselves tied between the character and our own lives, coming to conclusions that all originated from the visual representation of pain on film. Pain is subjective, and no film can fully capture the entirety of another person's suffering. But instead, films offer a representation, an uncanny double, of what that pain might appear as. In many ways, although difficult to achieve, the communication of pain, an emotion that often finds itself to be alone, allows it to find connection. On film, we're able to capture pain in its purest form, isolated and ever-present in the mind and the body. It's a raw sense of human emotion, collapsing any need to understand it and only experience it. It forges the appreciation we have for those who deal with constant pain. We find a correlation with suffering and resilience and find ourselves proud when we overcome. And pain is just that, pain. Whatever message you want to throw at the end of it, go ahead. But it is the demonstration of this unique feeling captured for a moment on screen that allows us to create our own message, form our own empathy, and find a way to express other emotional themes in their purest state.